And now we turn to a frightening moment at a popular Houston restaurant last night when a man pulled a gun and fired a shot inside the restaurant. And that's when two men jumped into action to stop that shooter. Michelle Choi breaks down what happened and here's from the two men who saved the day. Until 40 to 50 people were dining here at raw sushi around 1130 last night when the shooting happened. Thankfully, two mixed martial arts fighters were eating here too and sprung into action when a man pulled out a gun and fired a shot into the ceiling. This is cell phone video showing the aftermath inside the popular restaurant. You can see chairs knocked over from people who scramble for safety as those two MMA fighters tackle the gunmen. We actually spoke to one of them last night. Patrick Robinson was out with his friends when the chaos broke out. We were pretty much eating and then next you know you just hear a pop. You know, me and my buddy, we uh, we ran to the shooter, got him down, strangled him, took the gun from him, and then uh, called the police. Robinson, who lives and trains in Dallas with his friend, says they didn't think twice about jumping into action. We, we fight for a living, so it was just quick instincts. Friends and other patrons grateful for their quick thinking. I'm actually very proud and um, thankful that someone I was with was that brave enough to go take down the shooter. Police also thank the two men. If it wasn't for the, um, the quick um, thinking of a good Samaritan taking that gun away, um, who would have known, you know, what could have happened? Multiple people could have been injured out here. Uh, so we're very thankful. As for the 24 year old suspect, he was taken into custody. Investigators say he didn't say much when they asked him why he pulled that gun, but they believe he may have been high after they say they found drugs on him. Well, something was wrong, that's for sure. Yeah, good thing those guys were there. Um, it's hard not to project in a moment like this, not to project what you would do. Yeah, exactly. If I was in that situation. But for them just to go right to him, mm -hmm. take him down, no well, thinking. Yeah, like you said, out. The, yeah, the MMA training. And they were confident they could do it. So yeah. there you go. You got a story. It's a shame, though, we have to go in restaurants and think of things like that. It is.